Well, folks, we're back. Or I'm back. You're there. I'm here. So, I thought I'd uh, come on here and give you a little uh, Memorial Day wake up. That's right, wake up. You gotta remember, see? Yes, we've had brave women, men and women, join the service. Some drafted in times of war. And they went and they provided their country a service. They might have died, might have got blown up, seen some bad, horrible things. Fact of the matter is this. What about all the men and women that stayed behind? What about Rosie the Riveter? What about all those women that made bullets? And tanks and the planes and all the scrap drives and everything else. What about them? The heroes? What about all the farmers? Stayed behind, kept everybody fed, kept the front lines fed. What about the railroads? It's a collective, is what it is. So what do we do? Do we go around and we thank everybody? Do we say, thank you for your service? I'll tell you what. We've got a couple borders. Down south, up north. What if, uh, I don't know, China decided to come rushing us? Mexico rushing us? Up over our borders they come. We're just going to sit back and go, oh, we're going to wait for the military? Hell no. Every God-fearing American will pick up arms, and they will fight. Service or no service, they'll fight. Do they deserve a thanks? How about the Civil War? You know, when you run around thanking all these people for their service, it just kind of undermines the whole thing. Kind of trivializes it almost. Everybody's a hero. Well, I'll tell you what. Somebody's a hero to somebody. And the fact of the matter is, is when your kids look up to you and think mommy and dad is a hero, that's, that's good. The other thing is, is too, is you get tired of listening to all these first responders get a 10% discount. First responders, first responders. I'll tell you what, somebody breaks into your house in the middle of the night, middle of the day, it doesn't matter, in your home. Who's the first responder? Oh, that's right, you are. That's right. Let's say somebody has a bad accident, a whole bunch of cars stop, and everybody goes running over to see if they're okay. No police, no ambulance, nobody's there yet. Who's the first responders? That's right, the civilians. Oh, that's right, we're civilians. We're not fellow Americans, we're civilians. It's us and them. That's a slippery slope. Think about it, people. Something bad happened right now. Your house caught on fire. You'd be rushing around getting your kids, pets, and everything out of the house. Who's the first responder? That's right. You are. Neighbor comes knocking, pounding on your door. We see flames coming out of the shooting your house. Who is the first responder? Man, they have brainwashed you, screwed with your mind from when you were born. Wake up, people. You need to wake up. It's all tricksters, sleight of hand con men. They want to tell you another man has more power than you do. They want to tell you another man is over top of you. That's right. 
another man's going to tell you what to do, how to live in the whole nine yards. Guess what? That's wrong on every level. Should we have some rules? Yeah. But come on. You need to step out. Take a look around. Go out to the countryside sometime. Just go out in the country. Where's all the rules? Where's all the regulations? Where's this? Where's that? It ain't there. Go stand up on a mountaintop. It ain't there. They want to tell you it's there too. They want to tell you it's under the sea and up in the space, up in the sky, all over the land. That's just another man telling you how you can live, what you can do, what you can say. Just like this, they'll ban you if they want. Yep. Thank you for your service. <laughs> People, you're all heroes. You get up every day, you make this work. It ain't the banksters, they're stealing it from you. It ain't your government, they're stealing it from you. It's you. You're the hero. Don't you ever forget it. You should stand tall and proud. You're the only reason they're out there driving a car, eating their meals, getting their clothes, the whole nine years. You're the reason, not them. Honorable so-and-so. What's honorable so-and-so do? Ah, oh, that's right, he don't do nothing. Sucks up a salary. Sucks up a pension. Got a little golden ticket so if all hell breaks loose, he can go down underground and with his little family and stay safe. What do you get? Nah, nah. You don't get to do that. You don't have a golden ticket. So, hey. Think about what I said. Tell me if there's any lies. Tell me if I lied. Tell me I'm so screwed up I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Tell me I'm an idiot. Tell me I'm ugly. <laughs> like I always say, people, be kind, be generous, be charitable to each other. It's you. It's us. Each individual that makes a difference in this world. Not just this country, but this world. That's us. They want to put a heavy burden on your back that you don't deserve. They want to go spend money they don't have. That's not your fault. You didn't write the check. You didn't sign the legislation. They were put there to be responsible. Do the right thing. They ain't. Are they going to hold you accountable for it? Yeah, right. Think about it. They're going to tell you how wrong you are. That's not how it works. Boys, that ain't how she's done around here. There's a new sheriff in town. This is how we do her. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Y'all have a good one. And God willing, I'll be back again sometime. We'll see about that.